We want to be able to run our tests anywhere in the world, so if they're in a doctor's office or a patient's home, it needs to be as minimal amount of equipment as possible. My lab started working solely on paper devices where we could do the entire process in a piece of paper without using any other materials. However, we found that if we want to amplify the RNA and we want to detect as early as possible in an infection, we're going to need a source of heat and we looked at chemical methods, but we ultimately turned to electronics because they're small and convenient. Here is our original paper device plan, and here are the electronics that go around it. We have some temperature sensors and some printed resistors that we developed that are able to control the heat process. This is a low power device that can perform the reactions in the paper and heat the device as needed and control and stop and start the fluid flow so that we can run our assay that takes our sample, captures the HIV, amplifies the RNA inside of it, and then detects it downstream on an easy to read lateral flow assay. And these lateral flow assays are the same exact process as a pregnancy test. There are tests that can run RNA-based detection of HIV, but they need to be done in a laboratory setting, and right now those are done with pooled samples of multiple different patients. What we'd like to do is to be able to take that one sample, run it immediately, and get that person a result right away. I like the really applied nature of this work in that we are developing something from scratch, building it, and we get to test it with our partners and really take it into clinics. And in a very short period of time, we hope that it's actually going to be saving lives.